In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to go from the CAD to a 3D printed master, to a silicon mold, to knocking out resin parts all day long. So in last Friday's video, I showed you how I went from an STL to making a master mold in Fusion 360. So if you like the sound of that, then do check out that video. And this video is going to take it on from there where I'm gonna use the 3D printed master to create the silicon mold. So after five hours of printing at 0.2 layer height, looks like I've got a pretty good mold master. What is interesting to note, and I don't know if you can see this on the video, is that the adhesion from the part to the to the bed is now so great it's actually deflecting the bed and pulling it upwards. So that's a massive improvement over the initial uh, adhesion problems that I was having. So um, let's see how easy is it, it is to get off. Now I have my master mold, the next stage is to pour silicon in here. Now this is a um, Easy Composites silicon rubber mix and it's 100 to 5 so basically you get the the rubber mix and you get a catalyst so my plan is to uh, measure the volume of this I'm gonna do it very unsophisticated way by uh, working out the volume by water making a mark on the glass pouring some of this stuff in and seeing as it's such a, a lightweight mix or a light ratio I'm just gonna add this by weight I've now filled this with water and I pour it into here and make a mark not a drop spilt. So it's probably a little bit more than that. Do it to there. There's gonna be some wastage within the pot. So I'm gonna pour rubber up to this mark, add catalyst, pour it into the pot. There will be a little bit of wastage here, but um, that will give me an idea. Because I don't actually know what effect uh, moisture will have on the silicon, I'm going to uh, make a similar mark at about the same level. Probably a bit higher. Would have been compound measuring error. Know what you're talking about there we go so i'm going to pour it up to about there and then we'll work it out off uh, off that new mark so this is a hundred to five ratio in other words we want 20 times more rubber than we do catalyst why am i not using gloves that's the question there we go that's a bit better they do actually supply them in the kit so it'd be rude not to right so we're going to fill up to the line i've teared the scales so what could possibly go wrong? So that comes out at 212. So in theory, if I divide that by 20, it will give me the amount of catalyst that I ought to add. And that's 10.61 grams of catalyst that I need to add. So any special remarks on this? It's flammable, uh, and it's generally bad for you. So this is obviously, I've got my gloves, that's half the battle. I've got eye protection and a ventilated space. Right, let's go for it. 10.8, that'll do. There's slightly more catalyst, so it'll probably just go off a little bit quicker. Right, commence the time-lapse stirring. Spot the difference between this silicon and the silicon that I've been using. When I originally mixed this stuff, it was really quite easy. The catalyst was sort of a red color, so it ended up pink. This time it was gray in color, and I've ended up with white. Now, just a bit of a visual on this. It seems to be fairly evenly mixed. I've got those bubbles in there. I've learned to sort of not stress about degassing. On this particular mold, there's no real crazy detail that's going to get obscured so it should be fairly simple so let's see how this process goes well I don't know if you can see that but my uh, unsophisticated uh, measuring with the water and double error on the marking actually turned out to be pretty accurate I'm really happy with that but here we are 24 hours later let's compare the new master with uh, with the old mold so this is what we can see here is the um, where it's the the silicon has perished and that's probably just um, the fact that it was a little bit thin this was by far the uh, the worst of all of the different mold areas and all the others are absolutely fine because there's a lot more material around there so um, let's crack this open 
there we have it it has um, come off pretty nicely let's have a look at the surface finish on this so this weird fluffiness to the mold um, so whether that will come off that's obviously where it's keyed in to the surface somewhat and actually there's a little bit of residue uh, left on there. So I've already done a video on the full casting process but this is going to be a quick version basically what I do is tear my scales out use this P2 um, casting resin and it's 50-50 mix by weight um, so I reckon 110 grams is going to uh, do a full set for me here now I've had some other resins in the past thinking the P4 is more mechanically sound but goodness me does it stink this stuff actually is pretty low odour right that's got some real warmth in it there I'll place that to one side and this already is a major advantage of my new flat mould these don't quite sit flat and it looks like I've lost a part here already Right, I'm going to leave these other ones to set for a bit longer because they're really, that is remarkably hot but this one's got hot, it's exotherms and now it's cooling down so uh, let's have a look a few air bubbles on the top and release it around the edges it'll be interesting to see what this surface is like there you go, it's come out pretty well, it's released first time nothing stuck there, have a look at the surface Few of these strange pock marks in the surface, but by the time that's um, that's painted, that's going to be absolutely fine. But it is a strange um, phenomenon that's happened there. It's obviously where um, the silicon's actually found its way in between the individual strands on the 3D print. Um, but no worries. I think if I was to do this again, then all I would do is uh, have perhaps even 100% infill, maybe an extra layer on the top. Um, so there we have it. We've gone from uh, CAD in the last video to silicon mold to a cast version of a 3D printed part. So that was a nice little exercise. So if you like these videos, do like, subscribe and comment and uh, check out the playlist for this uh, particular project because there's uh, loads more on the uh, design and resin mixing and all that kind of good stuff. So until then, we'll uh, see you next time.